Now we're under vacuum. Um, you can see we've, as it's gone under vacuum, we've tried to push in some of the little areas that potentially might um, be a problem or pool with epoxy because you don't want that happening. You can see that the part is nicely squeezed, which is what we're looking for here. Um, and then uh, what we're shooting for is about minus 28 to 29 uh, inches of mercury. Um, that should be a pretty good vacuum on a part this big. Um, so the next the step is to start mixing up epoxy and infusing the part. Mixing up our epoxy. So we're going to start with about 800 grams on each side to feed in. And then we're just going to continue to mix small batches, around 500 grams each, and pour them into the cups until the part is completely uh, infused. Um, it is really important that you don't let any air get into the system and make sure you do measuring by weight um, on your epoxies because you got to get the ratio right or the epoxy won't cure properly. So now we've got our epoxy mixed up and you can see it's starting to do the infusion process where it's uh, all moving towards where the vacuum is. Um, so we're going to have to start mixing up and pouring in um, more and more epoxy until the whole thing is saturated. And here we are with uh, most of the part saturated. So we got a little bit more to go. Um, we want to keep the flow of epoxy um, going um, on one side. Uh, the other side we can probably kill the flow. Um, just so that we don't waste too much epoxy because it's pretty expensive stuff. So, anyway, uh, next time is we'll wait for it to cure and then we'll uh, pull it out of the bag.